Hey, it's Nero here. We're seeing lots of data and lots of reports about the fact that the Brisbane property market will be the strongest performing property market for the coming few years. Whether it's articles like the Brisbane market will lead Australia's property recovery for the next few years, or whether it's BIS Oxford Economics talking about the Brisbane market being the strongest performer with growth rates of 20% and even more in, in some suburbs. So we're seeing a lot of data out there. And if you've been following my work, you know that I've been talking about the Brisbane market for, for quite some time. In fact, uh, some of the criticisms that have been leveled at me was when people as early as in late 2016, early 2017, found out that I was talking about the Brisbane market being the strongest performing market for capital growth over the coming few years and that people looking for capital growth should not be looking to buy in Sydney and Melbourne markets. And that was as early as I said, in late 2016, even earlier than that in fact, and definitely in early 2017. And I copped a lot of criticism for that, but we know that the Sydney market reached its peak in July 2017, has been dropping like a stone since then, and the Melbourne market reached its peak in November 2017, has also been dropping. Now, thankfully, with the two recent rate drops, the rate of price falls is slowing down, the market is starting to find its, its, its floor, and I'm expecting over the next couple of years, the Sydney and Melbourne markets uh, will perform better than they have over the last couple of years. But with all this data now and, and media reports backing up what I've been saying for a, for a number of years about why the Brisbane market will be the strongest performing market for, for capital, capital growth, why would I then be worried? Well, it's because I'm seeing lots of people right now who are thinking that they can invest in, in Brisbane, especially from people from Sydney and Melbourne, they want to invest in, in Brisbane for, for capital growth, which, which is a smart move, but they're not doing their research correctly. So one of the things I'm seeing people do is they're going, well, in Sydney and Melbourne, units went up in, in value, units are cheaper than, than houses, so I'm gonna go buy a unit in Brisbane. Yet we know that Core Logic has, has showed us that one third of units sold at a loss in, in Brisbane. And I'm not expecting the unit market in, in Brisbane, in a, in a city unit market, to do very well over the coming uh, few years. So you've got to be careful that you don't apply a Sydney and Melbourne paradigm to the, the Brisbane market. That's number one. Number two, I'm seeing Sydney and Melbourne uh, property investors go and buy older properties on larger blocks of land, thinking that's the, the better move without realizing that in certain areas, those properties are not in high demand whatsoever, that people are gonna to struggle to get them rented, and in some cases, they're even in a floodplain, which means you're putting yourself at risk if uh, the inclement weather that Brisbane is known for, the flooding that does happen in Brisbane, if it comes again and you buy an older property in a lower lying area, you are at risk. And then number three, and this was really the, the cause for why I'm producing this video is because I spoke to a prospective client a, a couple of days ago. He said, Nero, look, I'm living in Melbourne, but I can see right now that uh, with all the research out there, yes, the Brisbane market is gonna grow in value. And he said, I guess I wanna do my research, but in the end it doesn't matter because wherever I buy in Brisbane, it's gonna go up in value. And that really caused me some concern because yes, in Sydney and Melbourne that's happened, but here's what I can tell you right now. There are some people who buy in the Brisbane market who will not do their research, who will buy in the wrong area, and those areas will either not rise in value or the rise will be pretty minimal, if at all. Why? Because the Brisbane market is completely different to Sydney and Melbourne, right? There's a lot of infrastructure, for example, not in the CBD, but on, on, on the fringe areas. The people in Brisbane, for example, don't necessarily use the, the, the train line. They prefer to, to, to drive. The, the Queensland train system is actually very heavily underutilized in, in many areas, right? So there are a number of differences. So yes, I believe the Brisbane market is the strongest, is will be the strongest performing market for, for capital growth. The rental yields are there are far superior than you can get in Sydney and, and Melbourne, but please be cautious, please do your research, Make sure you're buying in the right areas and you're not just buying on, on, on a whim. You're getting the right guidance because that's what you're gonna need. Because if you do that, I strongly believe that yes, there are some really good prospects for capital growth in the right areas of the Brisbane market. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video and you found it valuable and you're thinking you might like my help to help you find an investment property, then head on over to nerocall.com. That's nerocall.com for a free case study. And then if you like what you see, you can book in for a free half hour phone consult with me personally, where you can find out 
more about whether I'm the right person to help you with your property investing. Either way, thanks again for watching.